Okay, so right here we created a somewhat wavy environment you can see, and again, a couple things we can preview. What mostly I'm going to get some more details on this side and kind of flood and a little bit on the other side. Next, we need to go and add a water a bit more on a flatten this environment as well. I notice right this area we have a little bit problem, so we can always go to that um, right here to our displacement and just mirror it values. So in this case, when we look, it's look a little bit better on the edges. Okay, next, what I want to do it's Kind of work a little bit more make those flatten sizes so we can do this by work with additional okay let me disable this with the filters and work for example like using expander so let's go take expander connect it okay and in expander we can going to select as well so you can see and you can see how we can apply it. It's kind of look nice, except square. We use hybrids. So there you go. You can see, but again, the swell I don't want to happen on the all side. I want just happen right here on the edge. So we'll again we'll use it mask for this as well. So let's go ahead, select angle. I'm just copy pasting. Control C, Control V. Okay, I am going to select to my connection so in this case it will help me with my angle when I need to modify and we'll go to take connect right here this is have a very sharp edge and um, to smooth this out make it a little bit softer we'll probably want to go ahead and use a blur to this okay and um, let's go to set our blur maybe about 15 for now okay and next um, here's interesting thing because right now we're using from displacement and if we connect here you'll notice it will expand up front not on the back so example right here it's was moving on this side I need to put it on the right side of this so I want to do it is actually take this value and change to change we need invert if I don't want to put on one side so we'll go set inverter connect and connect to expand so in this case you'll notice it's expand on the back okay so it's add right here as well and leave it on the back okay let's go again expander and you know what we can pop up and you can see where it's growing right here on the map it's kind of growing on the back so it's where I want to go okay let's go click OK okay and the next things I want to do it is again smooth a little bit and the smoothing we can do by again using blur okay we'll go to connect our blur and maybe set to about 30 will be good again with the blur you notice it's blurring all over places and we using mask to tell way I want to blur so I won't blur this on the end to make smooth again we'll take from this one and connect to mask input and look right now we're just blurring this just only on the end right here it's why I want it so it's kind of nice already a start we have a very good effect for this okay let me move this one Okay, right here after blur, um, I'll, I notice at this point we have it sometimes maybe a little bit too high areas. I want them a little bit flattened even out more. Uh, one of the best way to even out it's using the clamp and we're using this one. So I'll go to add clamp right here, add it and with the clamp let's open, okay we'll set the mode and we can just bring slightly a little bit down and maybe on a you can set with this settings see which one will work better for you maybe. Okay. 
just set around this I say it's just overall but this is will help a little bit smooth out a little bit create flatten remove some of those extremes that may come up okay so we have a clam and next I want to add natural look to this and best way to do this of course by using natural filters we'll go to use the erosion for this so let's go connect here and I don't want to apply up front I want apply on the back so we'll go from inverted and add to the mask so we can control area where we want to add it so let's go right here okay and uh, we'll just use a standard erosion let's go maybe pop up this little bit high and sometimes it's better to do if we go preview okay, right here so we can view same time okay, we'll open erosion at this point okay and we can modify this way uh, let's just slightly increase the rock hardness and um, carry them on maybe a little bit more so let's preview you can see it's start moving very nicely as well just let's go a little bit just leave it below and again right here we can modify just increase decrease amount let's click OK I'm going just to preview right now you can see we have a nice effect on the dunes okay it will look on higher details and let's go just select high resolution at this moment just leave it up go preview okay you can see we have a nice effect done So we have an edge going and it's mostly what I was going for this kind of smooth going here so it's more like a sand effect with the steps we can go and increase a little bit more steps on the end and again remember these options is what we have with the terrace so we can go inside the terrace and increase maybe a little bit steps right here as well we can go in gradient and just drop down maybe to 15 meters okay, actually let me see yeah 15 about right will be for this okay let's make relates previous so we have it a little bit smoother nicer again effect and we can go inside the right and play a little bit more with the scale maybe a little bit with the shape till you find something that look a little bit more attractive what do you like it but again you can see overall what I was going at this flat kind of going nicely interest almost like a sand blowing from this end and shape group right here and let's create this random effect okay to make it a little bit more sand look like let's do a couple things what I'm going to do it is just add some colorizer and overlay views so we're going to outputs we'll go select overlay view and before we can actually connect high field right here but colorization will go to combiner and reasons why I want to use it high field and I want to use it flow map so it's kind of look cool when they look together go add okay and let's go to converter we'll select colorizer connect that together and we'll connect right here okay I'm going to to lock with this view so I can preview and there's our kind of colorizer going we can open and take maybe a desert look okay I'm going to render let's click OK and right here we have some 
sand dunes looking with a flat uh, and you can see how erosion going on this and we have no erosion on this side so it's like wind almost going because we can take and decrease um, softness actually if you think it's too hard you can go and reduce rock hardness increase a little bit of effects okay and this way it will have a little bit less of the channels present as well if you if you're going to use this as the your color map for example straight from here you probably want to add additional combiner okay for the sand and only select the deposit map okay we'll go connect this way let me unlock it so right here you can see we have it plus deposit map and use a deposit map instead combine so that way we you have it a little bit more look right on the bottom will look a little bit more wider so almost like sand blowing that way or if you want to increase white or kind of on top instead this one you want to use to wear so this way you can see it's apply a little bit more sand on the top instead bottom so you can combine and um, with those colorings just add the see whatever um, it's going so right here we have it applied to the wear and we applied also to the filter and again if you want it we can add all of them actually okay let me go and add right here just combine all of them together and right here we actually have a sand all places so you can see we have a very nice map more like a sand dunes um, just apply sand uh, bump map materials and I'm actually going to do that um, inside the view but if you use the blender or anything so right here you will have your color map you can work with this as well just apply any additional options again Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com